Right lads, hello. Um, this is going to be a Touch Light review because um, Jake from KGT Legit HD um, gave them to me because I favorited one of his tweets at like 1 in the morning because YOLO. Um, so yeah, basically, right? I've only used them for four games and in all those four games I have been ridiculously handicapped. Like, Skursal getting out jumped by Fernando Torres and stuff like that. Um, and all the guys who against have all had sweat Brazil teams, all of them. So it's like Welton up front, Hulk on the wing. Got a bunch of skillers in there, but they don't do skills because they're a bit, they're a bit fucked. Um, so basically, my thoughts on him so far, after four or five games, he's his passing is insane. Like he passes as if it's a short pass, never misses. He'll, I don't think. He's ever he's ever missed a short pass for me yet. If it's a long pass, it's fifty fifty, but he usually never misses. So I mean, that's just it's incredible. Eighty eight dribbling. Again, I mean, I'm I'm not sure I've played with a player that's first touch is as good. And then you've got obviously a few other. Decent stats like his 94 shot power, 94 free kick accuracy, 91 curve. Not score a free kick with him. He t he doesn't do the curved stance where they stand like to the side of the ball, but he doesn't do the long run up stance where they side stand like 12 feet behind the ball. He does he just does the stupid one where they stand like just a bit behind it, and I don't like it. Um, so he's got good free kicks, but you have to be able to use that stance. 83 pace. I mean. On paper, he looks slow, but once you add morale into it, because if you have good morale, chemistry, and fitness, his pace will go up. So, but on like normally, he has 86 acceleration and 80 pace, something like that. So, basically, once you've got the ball with him, if you're one on one with a centre back or a full back, and you use the right stick to push the ball in front of you and run at them. If you get the ball around them, you will go past. I've outpaced Jordi Alba with him and players like that because once you've got that foot ahead, he just uses acceleration and gets away. Um, and then apart from that, he's, he's right foot, three star weak foot, four star skills. And on top of that 83 pace, six foot. So he's strong, which is quite helpful for a player on the wing that you're going to try and cut inside with. Um, and Basically, I, he's probably one of the best team of seasons I've used. Like I've used um, team of the season Valero, team of the season Lyich, and team of the season. Uh, can't remember his name. Silver centre back. Can't remember his name. He's Italian. I had him as well. And if I'm honest, silver centre back was pretty good. Probably better than Chiellini. Um, Borja Valero is ridiculous. Like. He's just, apart from the occasional mishap where he takes a bad first touch, which you just saw him do there, um, well, he's pretty much like he is in real life. He's really good passing, great long shots, good ball control. Um, but yeah, I think Lyons is probably one of the best informer team the seasons I've used so far, as, as you see him score against Inter Milan for a second time. Fuck's sake. Oh, this, this game pains me so much. Like... I only chose that this was his best game in Serie A. As an Inter fan, I, I oh, it's just it's painful. I remember this game really well. Like we we were huge at the start of the season, and then just oh, Stramaccioni, well, that's just useless. But part I'm not, not don't need to talk about that. That's, that's another video, another time maybe. Um, if you want me to do one like that, just tell me. Um, so yeah, basically, like I'd give him eight and a half out of ten. Probably. Once I've played a few more games with him, he's Ben Pedro, who I had. Um, once I've played a few more games with him, then yeah, I'll give you my full verdict. But so far, yeah, 8.5 out of 10. So, like, subscribe, comment, do all that shiz, and uh, see ya.